Hello everyone, how you doing? This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, this is a thus saith the Lord and this, you know, I've been saying this actually for about, going on three years now. And um, let me know if you can see this video, um, if you can hear it and if it's clear, please. If someone's watching, just write clear or do I need to adjust something? You know, lately I've been having a lot of warfare, just even doing a live video. But I understand who I am and I understand who they are. So come on somebody, hallelujah. But I do need somebody to let me know what's going on before I begin. Because you know, I've had to do this like three or four times and that's okay. Alrighty, so clear. Thank you so much. God bless you, Crystal. Blessed Harris. So anyway, um, what I have to say is, I mean, you guys have been knowing this for a minute. And, you know... There's no easy way to say it because I think you already know, but martial law is real. I mean, I I, I couldn't believe. I, I was I was actually just. It's like God was just talking to me, and He said a lot of people still don't believe. He said, and the sad part when it comes up on my people suddenly, they won't know what to do because you haven't prepared your mind, your heart, and your soul. People, this is going to happen. I know it looks like it's not. I know it looks like Donald Trump going in. I know, I know it's all a facade. I keep telling you, I see bombs. They're really going to bomb America. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? I see them. They're really going to bomb America. Not only that, I, I kept seeing a lot of roadblocks. Where people are going to try to, when this stuff starts happening, you're going to try to leave and go here and there. They're going to block the roads off. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why they have Russian troops here. That's why they have China troops here. You guys, I know it seems like it's unbelievable. I know it seems like it's in a movie. But I'm telling you, it's coming. It's coming quicker than you think. You understand what I'm saying? Because right now, the holidays, everybody's what in the joy of Thanksgiving. And now they're planning for Christmas. Do you understand what I'm saying? The element of surprise is the way they want to do it. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't believe anything else, just prepare your mind, your body, and your soul. Because when this thing hit, it's going to hit, it's going to hit globally. It's going to hit nationally. I'm not kidding. And so God keeps telling me to warn you. I've been saying this for almost three years now. Get you some water. Get you some food stirred up. Those that can buy generators, buy generators. Those that can buy blankets, buy blankets. That's another thing. I keep seeing a big blackout. So I don't know if they're going to cut off the electricity or what. But I keep seeing it's all black. Then, this last one, I, I, I know you've heard it before. And I've said this before and before. You know those zombie movies? They really have created zombies. And if you Google some of the attacks that's been just this year in Texas, um, Pittsburgh, they've been different places. They call them runs. You see when something happens, just like the internet attack? Y'all think that's just, you know, just happened. These people know what they're doing. Those are test runs. What are test runs? We want to see how people are going to react. Come on, somebody. They was in Texas. And this it was at a haunted house for Halloween. And this young man was screaming, he's eating me, he's eating me. And they thought it was part of this, the entertainment. Come to find out, it was really a man doing it. And they saved the young boy. Thank God for that. But my whole point is, it's almost like people are not listening. And then you have these fake prophets, yes, I'm calling them fake prophets, fake apostles, not, not saying anything, bishops, ministers, and what's happening is they, they sign that FEMA contract, so they can't say anything, and they don't want to lose their five, four, five or one c 3 and they don't want to lose their money, they don't want to lose their position, whereas it's not even going to matter when all this thing happens, because if you do not know, you need to Google what martial law is. That means you will not own your own property. You do understand what I'm saying. And if you're not in compliance, they can take you to FEMA camps. Now, the ones that go in compliance, what is those? Those that, okay, get, I'll take the mark. Because they're going to offer you the RFID chip. It's going to be right here. It's like a little grain of rice. It'll be right here or it'll be in your forehead. I'm not kidding. This stuff is real. I don't know how many times I got to get on here and say it. But I'm going to say it how many times God want me to say it. And it behooves me how even Christians think, oh, th this is not going to happen. I don't care who won the so say fake election. I don't care who is preparing to so say leave the office. I'm telling you what God say and God don't lie. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because I know God ain't never lied and he never will. And unfortunately, people thinking this could be stopped. This cannot be stopped. Scriptures must be fulfilled all the way. And I know people don't like it because America, you never, you never like the truth. But the truth is, we did this. 
as a nation. We did this because what we did, we stopped doing is we stopped honoring God and start running after money, men, women, drugs, alcohol, and had the nerve to throw God aside until only when we want, to, want him. Come on, somebody, like a cheap date. Yes, I'm telling you what God say. And now God is, you know, he's going to allow this stuff. A lot of people say, oh, we're going to get raptured. That's not true. That's not, not before the tribulation. There is, there's going to be a short tribulation period. Then the rapture can come. But I'm telling you right now, God is getting ready to do something. You're not going to believe this. I have to go because the phone is getting ready to die. And I just charged it all the way up, but that's okay. You and I both know they don't like what I'm saying. And that's okay. I just want you, and even if you don't believe me, can you do me a favor? Can you just keep it in your behind your mind? Oh, come on, somebody. Holly. Can you just keep it behind your mind, everything I'm saying? That, that's how I feel about it. You ain't got to believe me now. <laughs> you will later. But just, just keep it behind your mind, everything that I'm saying. Praise God, praise God. Let me go before they shut this phone off. My God. But I will be back, hopefully tonight, to give you some more pointers. And thus said the Lord. So God bless you. This is serious. This is real serious, you guys. So God bless you. I'm praying for you. Praying for America. Praying for everybody. Because we need it. So God bless you again. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. We're real out, soldiers. <laughs>